Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do another Vlogmas video. In today's video, I wanted to do another 5 star TBR prediction. It's the first one I've done since 2017, so like the last one I did was a whole two years ago. I read six out of the seven books in that pile of predictions and I decided that I was no longer interested in that seventh one. I think I did pretty good and so I'm ready to do it again. This time I'm going to be doing a non-fiction version of it. In my last video I had both fiction and non-fiction. This one I'm going to do exclusively non-fiction because it is more likely that I'm going to rate something that I really like five stars if it is non-fiction. It's harder for me to find what I really enjoy in fiction and to find like a flawless novel. So I thought this would give me good odds. So here are the things that I think I'm going to rate five stars in the coming year. I'm going to talk first about two graphic memoirs and then the rest are all nonfiction. The first one is Book Love by Debbie Tung. I'm putting this one on here because I gave her book Quiet Girl in the Noisy World which is the first thing that I read this year. I gave it five stars and I loved everything she had to say about like being an introvert and reading books and her relationships with people and book love is supposed to be exclusively about books. So I think it's probably likely that I'm gonna give it five stars. Another graphic memoir that I have really high hopes for that I'm gonna give five stars to is Dragon Hoops by Jean Luen Yang. I've been seeing so much stuff about this on Twitter and it's a book that's upcoming in 2020. I'm super ready for it and it's supposed to be a memoir and has to do with basketball as well. So those are the two graphic memoirs and then as for like full nonfiction books, here I am with my pen and pencil, I have Shrill. And this is a book that I've heard so many good things about. I really want to read it in an audiobook. And I really think that I'm going to like what um, is said in it by Lindy West. Another one I'm thinking is Say Nothing. And this one is supposed to be about the troubles in um, Ireland. I tried to listen to the audiobook and I maybe listened to like 10 minutes. And I just couldn't get on with the narrator. So I think I'm going to actually read the physical book. Um, but I feel like I keep hearing really great things about it. And like magazines and like things that I'm reading it always seems to keep coming up as like a book that's very memorable for people that have just finished it so I'm really hoping that I really like it as well it's kind of a chunker but I'm going to try to get to it in this upcoming year I also think I'm going to give five star to we wish to inform you that tonight you will be killed with your families hopefully I heard that whole title right because all I wrote was we wish to inform you um, this is a book, an older book, probably from the 90s at this point, about a civil war and genocide. It's just one that's kind of like a nonfiction classic that I haven't gotten to that I really think I'm probably going to give five stars to. I also put on this list Devil in the Grove, um, another book that I have tried to read before. I maybe read like 25-ish pages and then I set it down I just wasn't in the mood for it. And I really want to try it again and I think... That I would really like it. It's literally everything up my alley. Civil rights, 1960s, a court case, and I think all of those things are going to make me really enjoy the book. So lastly, I put on here My Time Among the Whites. Um, this is a book that I just recently came across and I'm really interested in. I've read the first few pages, but I haven't really like dug into it. The author is a Cuban-American woman who is the first in her family to go to college, and she had to decide between UF, my alma mater, and um, Cornell and she chose Cornell and kind of like just the difference of culture and how she has to um, be around white people and what that is like when she came from a very different kind of background growing up in Miami. I'm really excited about that book and I have a feeling that it could be five stars. That is all that I have for my next five star TBR prediction. Hopefully I'll get to these in the next year and if you read any of these let me know in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.